Hey, nice to see you. I'm Smashin. Welcome to PTB 330. Let's go over all of the juicy stuff here. We have the new archive system. We have patch notes. Okay, they want to make it very clear that the PTB version of the archive is a little bit different than on the live servers for obvious reasons. We only have two weeks on the PTB. And on live you can have the archive ne, for a tremendous amount of time. So we get every tomb level every other day. So every day there will be a new one. And on live it will take several weeks after you purchase the previous level to unlock the next one. Something like that. Yeah, we have to look at the archive to understand what this means. Okay, let's continue with the actual patch notes. They integrated an updated version of the Unreal Engine. Archives is available. The archive has a tomb section and the rift section. Tomb is provides challenges to players to complete for blood points, rift fragments and lore entries. And the rift is the new time limited reward system also known as the battle pass. <laughs> okay, we can give them feedback. There is a new currency, the rift fragments. It is used to pro progress through tiers in an available rift in the archives. And there is a new cosmetic type, charms. Maximum of three. You can attach to a survivor's waist or on a killer's hook in the environment. Ah, okay. Okay, so we look later into the store to find out what's new there. Okay, now in the balance section of the patch notes, updated certain killer powers with the undetectable status effect, the shape in tier 1, the pick while in crouch mode, wraith while cloaked, and ghost face while using his night shroud. They all are undetectable. Nice. Survivors get, I guess, a surviving score event for wiggling in the killer's grasp. You get 25 blood points per second. Or for dropping a pellet in a chase. So even if you don't stun the killer, at least <laughs> new players get points for dropping the pellet. 200, you get fast vaulting in a chase. Nets you 100 blood points. And when someone else DCs in the game, every other survivor gets 600 blood points. Oh, actually nice changes, finally. Updated the icon style for cosmetic items rarities. Mm -hmm. Updated the auric cells and iridescent charts background colors from yellow blue to orange indigo. Mm -hmm. Added a perk indicator in the hut when affected by the babysitter perk. Ah, okay. Okay, here's some interesting changes. The medkit add-on changes. Rubber gloves, great skill checks grant 3% bonus progress. Cool. Sponge. Bob. Great skill checks grant 5% bonus progress. Needle and thread. Skill check chance increased from plus 3% to plus 10%. And 100 bonus blood points for succeeding great skill checks. Surgical Suture increased from plus 5% to plus 15% for a skill check chance. And you get, oh, never mind, 100% bonus blood points for succeeding great skill checks. And now you get, with the Surgical Suture, 150% bonus blood points for succeeding great skill checks. And then the Styptic Agent applies the Endurance status effect for 15 seconds on use. Use with secondary action depletes medkit on use. Okay, this is very interesting. I just looked up what endurance status effect means. And the endurance status effect is the effect you get when someone unhooks you in the tower radius and has borrow time. So what this means is the styptic agent lost the insta heal effect instead you can put someone you you can give someone the borrow time effect for 15 seconds so 
for example, someone needs an insta heal and you use this item on this person, he will not be healed, but at least the next hit he gets will not put him into the dying state. Instead, he has to mend himself. So yeah, okay, definitely a nerf here. And also, if two survivors insta-heal you, it doesn't do anything. Because, yeah, reapplying the endurance status effect, I don't know. You have to, yeah, just overall a little nerf here. <laughs> little. And then the anti-hemorrhagic hemorrhagic syringe heals survivor passively over 8 seconds. Time is modified by perks and add-ons that affect healing speeds. The effect is cancelled if the survivor changes health state or is picked up, depletes the medkit on use. So still no insta heal even on the ultra rare, um, but you heal over 8 seconds passively, which is, well it depends, no? sometimes you want the um, styptic agent because you need to take an extra hit soon. And sometimes you are fine with healing after eight seconds so yeah it really depends on the situation um, the styptic agent is not uh, per, per se weaker than the anti-hemorrhagic syringe in my opinion hmm but yeah no insta heals anymore in the future so every m1 killer is like oh my god Yes, finally. The nurse changes. Rather than regaining all her blink charges immediately after finishing her fatigue animation, the nurse now regains one blink charge every three seconds starting at the beginning of the fatigue animation. The time can be modified by add-ons. I explained all the add-ons in yesterday's video, but we can go over them. The nurse will begin her reappearance approximately 0.3 seconds earlier. This is a visual only change to ensure that survivors are not blocked or hit by a killer they cannot see. Ah, so now we are blocked by a killer that we can see. <laughs> okay, the nurse add-on changes, that, that's a little bit too much, I already explained all of them yesterday. Survivor perk changes, detective hunch, now triggers from any gen completion instead of only gens completed by the perk owner. Yeah, this is also dumb. Like. They fixed Dark Sense in the last patch and Detective Hunch has the same damn problem. It should always trigger from any gen completion. Well, great that they fixed that now. And they also increase the aura reading duration from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Oh, so, no, not bad. Plunderer's Instinct. They remove the slightly and moderately stipulation from tier 1 and 2, respectively. Only unopened chest auras and items dropped on the ground will be revealed to the perk owner wait what okay that's new items dropped on the ground will be revealed oh aura reading range does not change hmm so you can't modify the aura reading range with open-handed for example <laughs> what's that metal of man made it so the perk can be activated and triggered more than once Wow, awesome. Do they know it's super hard to even activate it once? <laughs> okay, whatever. And then the usual list of bug fix crits you for over 9,000. Oh my god, they fixed something on pig. Fixed an issue that caused the pig's trap set score event to trigger at the end of the set trap animation instead of at the beginning. Oh my god, finally they care about her. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we also have some known issues. I don't think you need to know about them, but all lights in the underground complex map are flickering. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> to be honest, that is awesome.